Should we dig into James Comer's personal life? Would that be appropriate? Is it moral to dig in to the personal life of one of the three men leading the impeachment probe? Oh, yeah, it is. This is from the Courier-Journal. A woman who dated gubernatorial candidate James Comer while the two were in college said in a letter to the Courier-Journal on Monday that he was physically and mentally abusive to her during what she said was a two-year relationship. Quote, did Jamie Comer ever hit me? Yes, wrote Marilyn Thomas, who attended Western Kentucky University with Comer in the early 1990s. In the four-page letter, Thomas detailed a relationship that she said, quote, was toxic, abusive, and caused me a lot of suffering. His controlling and aggressive personality alienated me from most of my family and friends at the time. Thomas said Comer threatened and belittled her and that she ultimately moved away from Kentucky in an effort to leave that chapter of her life behind. She now lives in New York City, where nobody ever threatens or belittles anybody. Sorry. Uh, The article continues. In the letter, Thomas does not offer specific details of the alleged physical abuse other than to say Comer struck her. She told a reporter that she never filed a police complaint against him. In the letter, she said she had been, quote, emotionally weak at the time. Quote, everything I did, everywhere I went, and everyone with whom I interacted had to be approved by Comer, she wrote. Quote, consequences were violent and swift otherwise. She said Comer became enraged in 1991 after they visited a Louisville abortion clinic and learned that she had used his real name on a form requiring proof that she had an escort to drive her home. The Courier-Journal continues, Wendy Curley, who said she shared a dorm room at Western Kentucky with Thomas, said that Thomas and Comer had, quote, a very rocky relationship. Curly said, I would see bruises on her wrists and stuff where she'd say, oh, I ran into a table, I fell, just that kind of stuff. Curly said Thomas never told her she was being abused. Quote, it was always something to cover for him. She didn't want anybody to know that he was abusive to her. Wendy Curley, who said she shared a door... Oh, we already read that one. She also said Comer took Thomas for an abortion. Quote, I know she ended up getting pregnant in like October of 1991 and had an abortion in the beginning of November. And I remember him seeing her to the dorm and just dropping her off after they got back from the abortion, Curley said. Thomas said she still has paperwork from the visit to the abortion clinic. Quote, I kept that piece of paper as a reminder of what desperation and rock bottom feel like. For more than 20 years, that piece of paper has been a source of anxiety and shame, but it was mine. It was only mine. She said the paper is in a lockbox at a Kentucky bank, and she didn't have immediate access to it. In the letter to the Courier-Journal, Thomas said that Comer once called her parents at 2 a.m. to make violent threats against me. Mary Rose Thomas, Marilyn Thomas's 83-year-old mother, said in an interview that Comer called her home one morning some 25 years ago. Quote, I couldn't understand everything he was saying but he said something about your daughter's going to be killed. It was something like that. Your daughter's going to be killed. It was something like that. So there you have it. There's the triumvirate, the three men leading the impeachment probe into Joe Biden. House Judiciary Chair Jim Jordan, House Ways and Means Committee Chair 
Jason Smith, and House Oversight Chairman James Comer. I don't know. Maybe these are not the best men to start digging into Hunter Biden's troubled past. Maybe these are not the best men to challenge Joe Biden's integrity or decency. Maybe they should not be looking into Hunter and Joe Biden. In fact, maybe nobody should be looking into Hunter and Joe Biden. The planet is on fire. Ukraine and Gaza need saving. And our government is about to shut down. How about Republicans stop protecting that Nazi clown Donald Trump and start protecting the American people? It's time right now for the David Feldman 